Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days Nine Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do uh, Horde Knight 70 in our incomplete Horde base. So, uh, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see down there, because it's all red and gloomy, but uh, I have made some progress on building the towers up, um, and as you can see, I have... Um, you know, I, I'm not going to make the concrete portion of the towers completely solid. I'm doing um, the outside of them, and then I'm doing like a center uh, column too, uh, just to you know save save on resources because I don't think you know the the middle portions of the tower are going to take significant damage. And uh, you know, if time go as time goes on, if it if it turns out that they are taking damage, then I'll have to deal with it at that point. But uh, for now, that's what we're doing. And so let's see, I have, let's get down here first of all. Uh, so this is what it kind of looks like, you know, from down here. And I have some more uh, upgrading that I need to finish on that tower, but I ran out of wood uh, to finish that up. And I don't actually have a real good way to get up there. Probably what I should do is just take a... Um, an oh shits and then just jumped out onto the top of it to finish that up. But I mean, it doesn't need to be finished for the Horde Knight because we're going to be doing the Horde Knight down here anyway. Um, so if you didn't catch the last episode, I basically explained, you know, what we're doing here. Um, we're going to just pretty much stand, uh, on these columns and jump from one to the next to keep the Horde from focusing on any one particular one. And I have um, a collection of contact grenades because, you know, they're going to be kind of all over the place. So I figured we'd try some contact grenades as well as normal grenades um, and just, you know, blow up as many of them as we can and mostly just survive the night. That's the main thing. Uh, also, these bases here for the first five blocks up are solid steel all the way uh, across. And uh, I made it five blocks up to withstand explosions from demolishers and then later on you know these towers will be all the way up at the top when they're completely finished this is just a temporary setup here um, once we we get them finished at the top i'll probably fill these little areas in but i just needed a, a way to fight the horde tonight and i didn't want to you know do the usual the thing we've done the last two times where we've you know kind of hunkered down in a building so yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing too terribly fancy. Um, we have, you know, the usual medical stuff. I do have, let's see, where do I have my Atom Junkies? I've got five Atom Junkies. And, oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to bring a learning elixir, but I'd rather save the learning elixir for when we can concentrate them into an explosion chamber. That's where we're gonna get XP like crazy. I'm not really trying to get a ton of XP to that. I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> So, um, that's where we're at. And, and, uh, and also as far as XP goes, um, I maxed out lock picking and well insulated. Let's go ahead and get well insulated maxed out. We started with five. We have three. Fortnite starting now. So we'll just see, um, you know, how many points we will get from tonight. Okay. Let's see how this goes. The horde's going to be nasty. There's no doubt about that. They've been pretty, pretty bad um, for a while now. Oh, of, of course, we got tons of 7.62 ammo and a decent amount of 9 mil ammo, too. It's interesting that they're... I am going to have to be careful of, uh, you know, of uh, falling down. But if we do fall down like this, you know, we can easily get back up. And I've got a, a maxed out... Pain tolerant, so we have no chance of getting stunned. It's interesting that they're not all coming to the tower that I'm on. What the hell? Oh, the bird. I thought that was a dog. It looked like a dog at first. Okay. Yeah, very interesting that they're not 
coming after... I mean, they're going after the other towers instead of the one that I'm standing on. Okay, well... I'll eventually probably line that tunnel too, I just didn't have time to get to that uh, this time around. Alright, let's just throw like, some nades down. Maybe a stupid bird. So at least the birds can't come right out on my head, you know? Ooh, there's a pretty good collection of them down here. We got 39,000 XP off that deal. Nice. Yeah, I'd, I'd prefer that they focus on the tower I'm on, you know, because then I can hit them a little bit better. But I mean, this is working. Let's try a contract grenade. Nice. Okay, let's move to a new tower. So that one doesn't continue to take massive damage. Okay, we already got a skill point. When they pile up on each other, then I take a little explosion damage too because the grenade goes off before it gets five blocks away from me. So I probably should use normal grenades. Okay, got a bird. Don't see where he's at. This is working out reasonably well. 24,000 XP on that one. Definitely have a little bit of um, repair work to do. That's to be expected. I keep bang uh, blowing myself up. <laughs> but we are tough, man. We're about as tough as you can get in this game, uh, sans heavy armor, of course. Ten thousand XP on that. There's the damn bird. Got another level already. Maybe I should have taken a, a what you call it, learning elixir. Another bird. All right, let's move to the next tower. Do some contact grenades. Nice arm. Yeah, I know this isn't the ideal bird protection, but it does provide a little bird protection. Okay, let's replenish these. Let's put those down, and let's take one of these. Uh, we could also stand to eat, so let's have a taco and a red tea. All right, let's get this group here. 9,000 XP, nice. Uh, 
Oh, did I kill that vulture? I don't think I did, but I'm not sure. Nope. Still hear him. Let's go over here. There we go. Thirteen thousand XP on that. Got a double whammy. Okay, let's go back to this tower. thousand oh shit <laughs> that one hit pretty good another level this is working uh, better than I was expecting it to it's not perfect but hey better than I was expecting 16,000 XP there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I forgot to take an Atom Junkies. Let's do that right now. It just goes to show we don't even need Atom Junkies. They just help. But they definitely, you know, help, help. So. Okay, let's do a double. Twenty-seven thousand XP. Beautiful. Six thousand. Uh, do we have a bird? Don't know if we do or not. Yeah, we have a bird. Get out of here. I hate you. I hate them birds, man. They cut into our XP and they're a pain in the ass. Thirty thousand XP. Beautiful. They run away right before it goes off. <laughs> Seven skill points to spend. So let's see. We had started with two left or three left. Two left, I think. So we've already gotten five XP or five levels rather. That's pretty good for just this being kind of an ad hoc situation. That'll be a good one here. We've got 21,000 XP. Arms and legs are flying. That's what we like to see. We haven't had any demolishers yet. Very surprising. We get a crap ton of demolishers. Let's do a contact. Yeah, that one kind of hurt us a, a bit. Okay, here. Yeah, we can't use the contact grenades really close to ourselves. Okay, we better get to another tower. This one's been taking a beating. Thing is, though, is they're... They're concentrating on all, all of the towers to some extent, whether we're... Look at all the greenies. Stupid 
cock. Eight skill points. So we've received a total of six. So, so yeah, we should use the contact grenades to get the zombos off the towers that we're not on and the normals for the ones that are concentrated down at the base of the ones that we are on. Almost gonna get away from that. Okay, let's take a uh, honey. Ouch. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I think that takes care of everything. Those cops are brutal. This is going to be good. Boom. 32,000 XP. Nice. Little chain reaction there. Did you notice they do a, like a double stream? At least they did that time. For pops. Oh, way to blow right up in the base of my tower, copper. Yeah, man, those those double strings are hard to avoid since I don't have a lot of room to maneuver. Twenty-six thousand XP. Got the cop right before he could spit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he did spit. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're just about out of normal grenades. Once we get are completely out of nades, we'll have to just use the M60 for the rest of the night. But I mean, in terms of XP, we've already just knocked it out of the park. Breach a hole into the, that tower, but you know, keep in mind that that's solid steel, all the way over solid steel. So they won't have enough time before the horde night's over to take the whole thing down. So not worried about it. Quite a few contact grenades left, so let's go ahead and take another one of these. Oh. Alright, what I'm gonna do is jump over here, quickly turn around, and throw this down here. Damn that cop! Got a bird. That's the best way to handle the birds is just jump over to another tower. I think we have another one too. Do we? Eh, maybe not. Oh, yep, yeah, we do. <laughs> okay. And another one. Get out of here. Nice. 
Okay, that is it for normal grenades. Eleven skill points. I find it very interesting that we got no demolishers tonight. Uh, not that I've noticed, anyways. And I probably would have noticed. Ten thousand XP on that. Bunch of them over there. 19,000 XP worth. Okay, let's hunker down for just a second here. And we are. Oh no, we're not completely out of explosives. Let's finish these out while we still have um, some atom junkies left. skill points. Okay, we got five nades left. So quite a few of them over there. 17,000 XP's worth. Okay, that's it for our explosives. So, the rest of the night's pretty much just going to be the M60. I think we got lots of 762. Um, let's go ahead and take a one of these recog. We're doing pretty good on food and drink and all that. Let's go to town. here. And it's morning. So we don't have to worry about any new hordies coming. Okay, let's get the rest of these guys cleared out of here. We got a screamer. I figured that'd probably happen. I think that's it. Woo wee. <laughs> Sir, pretty at this hard night. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so let's see. We started with two points. We ended up with 13. Uh, so we got a total of 11 points. These are probably just screamer hordes here. Okay, so do keep in mind that we are in 300% XP, so if this would have been normal XP, we would have probably gotten about four or five levels tonight. Um. Okay, so that's pretty good. I can't complain about that. Let's go ahead and put the luckies on, and we'll take an eye candy and see what we get in the loot. Uh, I don't think we have any red bags because we didn't have any... 
There we go. Uh, learn how to harvest brass from doors. I need the um, the mineral water magazine. There's a bow magazine. Oh, you know what? Do we, we already have. Yeah, we have lucky looter already maxed out. Okay. I say we should just put a point into that. You get a decent amount of canned food from these drops, though. The thing is, though, is this this loot is is it's like the same shit almost. I mean, you get a ton of mining helmets, for example. It's it's all good stuff. I mean. I think I have the advanced muffles, so I'm just going to sell those straight up. Okay, never mind. I take that back. I was just thinking the other day, it'd be nice to have a chainsaw because I've been having to cut a lot of wood and using the axe. So there we go. Okay. That was the prize of the night. Okay, is that it? For loot. Very good. Okay, so let's assess the damage. I mean, you know, considering that these, again, are solid all the way through, the damage is fairly minimal. It's substantial, though. I mean, they, they definitely made a good showing. This one, I think, you know, got the most attention and then somehow or an, oh that's probably from cop spit yeah that must have been from cop spit let's take a look at the uh the tunnel see if they did anything in here i hear another Zombadoodle, let's get this repaired. Where's he at? Almost sound like he was stuck in the ground or something. Yeah, they did a little bit of digging up here, but nothing, nothing substantial. Huh. That zombie I was hearing it sound. Oh, okay. That's where they are. Now, why would they do that when they have a perfectly clear path? I mean, you know, 99% of them took the path. That is funny. Uh, but obviously he's he's down here, but I'm not even going to. Oh, yeah, look at that. How interesting. Okay, well, I'll have to fill all that in, of course. Let's go back down here for a second. Here we go. So they dug all the way down through there. I think that... I wonder if that's a crawler. It's either a crawler or... Oh, I can... Okay, I can see something here. It was a stuck lumberjack. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's just, that's very interesting that they, that they did that. I guess there is quite a bit more digging that occurred up here. You know, when they have a, a perfectly smooth pathway to get down to us. But 
that's going to be less of an issue once we get the towers completely built and get up on top here because you know then they won't be trying to go down they'll be trying to come up so all right well i call this a pretty huge success um let's go back to the base and we'll take a look at what we're going to do with our points okay so uh this is snowball snowball meet the people people meet snowball I had no idea that uh, there were animal companions that came with the NPC pack, <laughs> but apparently they were. I was out, uh, and I think I'll show, I haven't actually added to that footage yet, but I think I'll show that to you uh, when I found him, excuse me, <clears throat> um, when I was out, you know, doing all the salvaging and stuff. And um, the cool thing about Snowball is that he ha he actually has an inventory that I can put stuff in. And he'll um, he'll actually attack two zombies. The problem though is that he doesn't he doesn't move right. So there's something wrong with his movement. So if I tell him to follow me, see he he does that little spin out thing and he can't quite move the way he's supposed to. So that makes his effectiveness as um, his offensive effectiveness, I guess I should say. Well, even his defense not not all that great, but it's kind of cute. Um, the other thing about him, though, is he sounds just like a zombie when he's walking. So <clears throat> when he's following me around, I'm freaking out because I think there's a zombie behind me. But anyway, it's kind of fun. Um, okay, so uh, we were going to look at our points, right? Yeah, let's do that. So we have 13 points to spend. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but he's making slow you know footsteps like a zombie would make so it always makes me think there's one right around the corner okay so we're kind of at the point where points are just whatever we want to put them in and so we have uh we have well insulated maxed out so we no longer need to worry about getting cold or hot or anything like that i maxed out lock picking so that's now at level three Let's get these back on. So let's look at fortitude. We could we could put some points into iron gut. I'm not really too worried about consumption, you know, the, the speed of consumption. But if we get if we go to iron gut five, it uh you know, all the buffs that we get are 50% longer. So, like, when we pop, like, an Atom Junkie and stuff like that, uh, it lasts, you know, half again as long, which is very useful. I mean, who gives a shit about oxygen and diving in this game? It's just not applicable. Um, So, I don't care about holding the breath. Reduce the food and water loss from physical exertion is, is useful. But, I mean, we have a, an abundance of food and water, so that's not that big of a deal. But it's mostly the consumables lasting longer that makes that attractive to me. So let's do it. Okay, that leaves us eight points. Uh, we were going to max out better barter, so why the hell not? In fact, I got a bunch of stuff I need to, to sell too. So we basically get a 25% better deal for buying and selling. All right, charismatic nature is completely for multiplayer, so that doesn't matter to us. We don't want to max out position because that's for stun batons, but doesn't matter to us. All these are maxed out here. Robotics could be useful because we could then use, um, you know, uh, portable turrets and stuff like that. Or like the Horde Knight or e even take it with us when we're doing POIs. So that could be useful. Let's keep that one in mind. Let's go back to Perception. Spearmaster and Quick and Perceptive are not useful. Animal Tracker, I don't care about. Treasure Hunter, that could be useful. Um, you know, we get lower radius and 30% more items in buried to treasure. Okay, so we'll keep Treasure Hunter in mind for strength. Pack Mule could be useful just because we have more inventory slots. Though even when I'm completely full, the encumbrance is is marginal 
carry four more items without being. A, you are now sh you're either part of a mule. Carry four more. Oh, it just keeps adding four more. Okay, so yeah, I mean we'll keep that one in mind too. Brawler, we got machine gun. Brawler could be fun to try out. What does Huntsman do? It just gives us more harvest, and we already I already got stacks and stacks and stacks of bone, leather, and meat, so I just don't see that as that particularly useful. Cardio, increased stamina regen by 30. Yeah, I mean, how often do we sprint now, though? Not very often. There's nothing in agility that interests me. Whirlwind, yeah. Haven't found that to be all that useful. Okay, so I think... Let's go back to... What was the other one? There was two that I was reasonably interested in. I think it was, okay, it was Treasure Hunter and it was... Oh, dang it, I forgot. Oh, Robotics, right, okay. Yeah, Treasure Hunter and Robotics. So why don't we get, since we have three points left, let's just max out Treasure Hunter. And then I think what we'll do is we'll put the next points into Robotics. Uh, we can have two deployed at once. Weapons are 20% faster, reload uh, an extra 50 rounds, and the range is 18 meters. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably what we'll focus on next. And then after Robotics... Um, I might go ahead and put some points into, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. I mean, as you can see, we're kind of getting to the point where it almost doesn't matter. Uh, probably pack fuel. Just a, why, because why not, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, what is coming up next? I still have a crap ton of work to do on uh, the horde base, of course. So I'm going to keep working on that, but I'm not going to. Uh, I, I want to do other things too because I've been working on that damn horde base for two weeks straight now, two in-game weeks straight. Uh, so we'll I'll keep working on that, but we're gonna do some more tier fives, and maybe maybe let's do that in the next uh, episode. Let's just go ahead and do the Navasgain County Jail as our next tier five. All right, guys. With that being said, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. You're so cute. <laughs> And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.